So when you first open up Sketchbook on the iPad, you're greeted with this little quick tour option. Because this is a tutorial on how to use Sketchbook for the iPad, I'm going to skip this. Uh, I am using the Apple Pencil, the first gen Apple Pencil. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that my settings are correct. So I'll notice that if I draw, the pencil works right away. But also, if I use my finger, that also works as a drawing tool. But we don't want that to happen. We just want to use the Apple Pencil. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click on this little button right here for our menu. And I'm going to go to Preferences. Right here under Pen Connection, I'm going to select, instead of None, I'm going to choose the Apple Pencil. And that's going to activate Pen Mode right here. So now what I'll do is I'll go back to uh, the canvas here. And I'm going to double tap in the corner to clear the canvas. And I'll notice that my pencil works. And then when I use my finger, it no longer allows me to draw. So now we sort of have it set up correctly. Now I can still use my fingers to pinch, to zoom in and out, or to rotate, right? But if I use a single finger, it won't allow me to draw. So we can use our fingers to navigate our canvas, but we don't use our finger anymore to draw on the canvas. All right, so once again, I'm gonna double tap in the corner right here, and that's that only works in the top left corner. If I double tap here, it will clear the whole canvas, okay? So it won't work in these other corners. If you wanna clear your canvas, whatever you have on here, you have to double tap in this top left corner. Okay, so we've cleared that. So what I wanna do right now is I just want to label the different interface items that we have. So if we look right here, um, this right here, this is the double puck. Okay. This allows me to change my color and it allows me to modify the size of my pencil or pen or whatever brush I'm using. This right here, this is our layer editor. We'll get into this a little bit later, but essentially you can add multiple layers here and you can use layers as a way to sort of organize your scene. If you wanted to add in a layer, you could press this little button here and you get an additional layer. So just know that uh, your layer editor is right here. I'm just gonna undo that real quick because I only want one layer right now. This right up here, this is your toolbar. And on the toolbar, you can access your, your undo, your redo, your selection tools, your move tool. Here you have a paint bucket, a ruler tool, a symmetry tool, there's a whole bunch of tools up here that we'll get into a little bit later. Over here, we have the brush palette. And this is where you can access a bunch of different pens, pencils, paint brushes, and erasers. What I wanna show you right now is how to access different brushes on the brush palette. So once again, I wanna clear my canvas, so I'm gonna double tap in this top left corner. And then I wanna be able to access some different brushes. So I'm gonna click right up here, I'm gonna tap right here, and I can see right here I have the, the basic brushes set. Now I've been using Sketchbook for a long time, so I actually prefer the legacy brushes. So for example, I might select this um, inking pen right here and now I have the option to pin this other set of brushes so if I tap right here over here it now gives me this set of brushes down here now if I wanted to go back to the basic brushes I could select the basic brush and then pin that set of brushes to the brush palette but once again I prefer the legacy brushes so I'll click on one of the legacy brushes, and then I have the option to pin all of those brushes to my brush palette. All right. So the next thing I want to show you how to do is uh, when you draw, there is a certain thickness to the pen. 
I'm using the, the inking pen right now. I can change the thickness by moving this slider right here. So you can see it updates right over here. So I can go smaller with my pen size, or I can move this slider up, and I can go with a thicker line. Okay, so you can adjust the thickness of your line with this slider right here. Now you also have the ability to adjust your opacity. So right here I could go down to 50% and I have a, there's more of a gray to that line. And I could go all the way down to like say 11% and you can see it's very faint. So if I wanted to, to draw something very lightly, I could use the opacity slider right here to do that. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna double tap to clear my canvas. Now when you're using the inking pen, you also can use your double puck to increase or decrease the size of your pen. So I can slide left and right inside the uh, double puck right here to change the size. So I can go smaller right here, or I can click and drag and go larger. And then if I wanna adjust the opacity, I can click, I can click and drag up and down to adjust the opacity of my brush. So you will have a preference. You'll either wanna do it over here on the, on the brush palette or you'll wanna do it over here on the double puck. I happen to prefer the brush palette over here, but either one is fine. Okay, so let's double tap to clear our canvas and let's bring the brush size down a little bit. So I'm just gonna draw three shapes. I'm gonna draw a square, a circle, and a triangle. Okay, and let's see, I'll just take my eraser and I'll just erase a little bit here just to clean up that drawing. Now, as I said before, if you want to zoom in or out of your canvas, you can take your fingers and just pinch. And if you wanna rotate, you can rotate your fingers and you can very easily adjust, you know, how far in or out you're zoomed in on whatever it is that you're working on on your canvas. So now that I'm zoomed in, zoomed in a little bit, I might take my inking pen and just kind of clean up my shape right here, right? And I could just clean this up here, take my eraser and make some adjustments, right? So once again, if I wanted to zoom out, I could take two fingers, zoom out like this. You can see the whole thing. Now let's say I wanted to move these three shapes to the very center of the canvas. In order to do that, what I'll do is I'll take my selection tools and that I can access up here on the toolbar. So I'll click up here and I'll take my lasso selection tool. So I'll take my lasso selection tool, I'll lasso. And now that I have these three shapes selected, I'll switch over here to my transform. And now I can move this over to a different section of the canvas. Now let's say it's over here and I wanna move it to the center. I can also use my finger to adjust it. If I wanna scale the shapes, if I want to make the shapes larger or make them smaller, I can pinch. And this is different from zooming, right? I am pinching to scale up or scale down the overall size of these shapes, right? So after I'm done with this adjustment, I can press done. And now we have our shapes over here in the center of the canvas. Now I have other options here. I don't have to use the lasso tool. I could use the marquee select and that I can click and drag a square rectangular selection. I can then switch to the transform. I could move this shape over here. I could then say, okay, well I'm done. Or I could select them again switch to the transform. I can move these back over towards the middle, right? So you have all kinds of options here. So let's say I wanna rotate this triangle. What I could do is I could take my marquee selection, right? And then switch to the transform. And now I can twist my fingers, right? Like this, and I can rotate the triangle and scale it if I need to, right? So here I wanna rotate this upside down Okay, so I can press done, right? And we're back to normal. So now when I click and drag, I'm just zooming in and out, right? So there is a difference between the zoom in and out on your canvas and selecting something 
and transforming it by using this transform tool. You could transform by scaling it up or scaling it down, right? And then as soon as you're done with your transform, let's say we want to rotate it on its like 45 degrees, right? You could do that. Press done. Now the transform is complete. We have our three shapes right here. So another tool on the toolbar that people often use is the paint bucket. So I'm going to click on that paint bucket tool. And over here, I'll just change the color. Let's say I want to fill that square shape with a green color. I might select a green right here. Go back to my paint bucket. I can click and fill that in with green, right? Now you do have the option to fill in when you fill this you have a tolerance, right? You can move the slider this way to the left, fill it in, and it doesn't go quite as far to the line. You can see there's a little gap right here. Okay, so let's undo it. And then you also can move that slider in the other direction, use that paint bucket, and it's gonna fill further towards the line. Now there's no gap right there. So it pushes that paint further out. All right, so let's switch back to our pen tool. And let's just go, let's zoom out so we can see our entire canvas. I'm gonna double tap in the top right corner and that allows me to zoom all the way out. So once again, if we're way zoomed in and we wanna just see our entire canvas, we can double tap in the top right corner right here. It takes us all the way out. So that's a quick overview of how you can use some basic tools in Sketchbook for the iPad.